Welcome back to Real Taboo. I'm one of your hosts, Jay Tobe. It's your boy, Jay. And our guest host for today, Mr. Jeffrey Snap Pat. Snap Jordan Pat. is in the building. Hello, What's hello, hello. On, How's it going? I'm doing, I'm doing good. Hey, hey, before we go on, let me let you know, you are the first the male guest host Man, on Real Tap yes, first, baby. first. This is special. This is monumental. So, very monumental. So, Mr. Mr. Snack Pack, as we will call you, what is your topic that you're bringing to Real Tap today? Okay, my topic is that I'm going to bring to Real Tap Boo. This is a little, it's a little kind of personal thing to me, so I'm going to bring it out to you guys. All right, all right. Question is: Should close childhood friends ever cross that line of past friendship? I mean, mm -hmm. past okay. friendship. Okay. Okay. Um. Snack pack with the heater. Wow, that was the heater. Uh, you want to do this one first? You... I, yeah, we, I can go in. Okay. okay. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. All right. Um, whew, that's pretty good, man. That's a guy, you know. That's why they should go first. I think yeah. That's <laughs> 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 so you think about what I'm about to say. Go ahead. Should close childhood friends ever cross that line? Past friendship. Past friendship. Now, um, I'm just going to put it out there like this. I think it depends. It really depends. I mm -hmm. think because a lot of times when you're a close childhood friend with somebody, you guys have a great, a great connection. Uh, you've been friends for such a long time. You guys know each other very well, which can be a positive thing. But at the same time, you've never been in an actual relationship. And as we all know, relationships change certain aspects of our everyday outlook of each other. Even though you know each other for probably long periods of time. I mean, for us, it would probably be 20 some years we've known a childhood friend. Um, but just being in a relationship with that person, you don't know how they are in a relationship. You know how they are as your friend. Right. They know how they are with their other relationships, with other people, and they know how you are with other people. But together, that's where the chemistry may, I don't know, I'm kind of iffy with it. Well, I'm, 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 me personally, I'm going to bring up an old saying, you know, good friends are hard to find. Yes. And with that being said, it's kind of hard to really get you know, to, to take it beyond that because it's just like, what if it doesn't work out? Exactly. That, that's the gamble. That's the gamble. That's the that's the that's the roll of the dice. It's like you know, um, it, it's just it's just hard to do because you might mess that up, and, and after you cross that line, it's almost like the point of no return kind of deal. Mm -hmm. And um, and, and especially it'll never, it'll never go back to what. It yeah, it'll never go back because now, and I mean, depending on how far the relationship went, if it went to like holding hands, going on a date, I kissed you, we thought about it, didn't work out. You might have a chance yeah, to kind of go back, but awkwardness for a little bit. But when you actually go like we had a full fledged relationship for a year, this was my best friend. I've seen it and heard it so many different times, and and then when it doesn't work out, it's not just oh, what well, didn't work out like it's some you know run of the mill person. Now it's like you know I lost a, I lost well, a, friend, a really good friend and I lost you know something special. So yeah, okay, I'm gonna go so opposite to what y'all are saying right now. Okay. Wow. Yeah, bro, go, go, go go opposite. That's what what I would say, <laughs> what I believe is that childhood friends can cross that line. It's 100% positive they can cross that line. Personal experience, I can say it, it can happen, and I agree with you. You say, you know, maybe you can lose a friend in that. Mm -hmm. But if we know, remember, relationship-wise, you always have to have a friendship before you have that whole relationship thing. That's true. I will, I will. Yeah, so, I agree so, so as a good friend, as a childhood friend, we know what can what can make us happy, we can know what can make us mad. We can use that towards the good, we can use that towards the bad. You know what I'm saying? So with all that together, I would love to have a childhood friend that I grew up with that I know eventually we can take takes that line. You know what I'm saying? We already friends. We're just all we're doing is just going that extra extra step, extra effort, and then go from there. Cause you nothing's ever promised. So well, I'm gonna I'm gonna play devil's advocate to that. I'm gonna say it's true. It, the friend, you, you have to become a friend before, you, before you can be in a relationship. A lot of people don't understand that and, and they want to just jump into a relationship and not actually know the person. I will agree with that. However, that can play against you as well because of the fact that the person knows you so well. The fact that there's almost like nothing to learn. Like, I, I think. Can't in a, really grow yeah, together. in a relationship, I mean, you grew up together and you you came at it as. You know, I know everything you like, everything you don't like, vice versa, and everything. But it's kind of like, so now what? I know you so in depth. You didn't took all the relationship out of it because yeah, we was cool friends or whatever the case may be. But 
you know, now you've taken out, it's like now I gotta learn you as a relationship wise, but there's really not that much as in with friends. Because I think when you're in a relationship, you need to become friends, but it's a process, it's a path, yeah. it's, a, it's a journey yeah. when you're when you're becoming a friend with that person. But then when you're actually, you know, already friends, all you can do after that is just, okay, what do we do relationship wise? And it may become robotic, like you may become like a robotic right. relationship. Right, right, right. You know okay, you say go through the motions, but what I'm saying, like, we'll we put it we'll put it into an example kind of way. Say say you've had a friend, I say we'll say from middle school. We'll use from middle school. Say okay. middle school, grow up through high school. High school, you know, you, you're gonna go through all that that stuff. Okay, she's with somebody, you're with somebody, you know what I'm saying? Y'all done broke up, this and that. It, this may sound like love and basketball kind I was of really stuff. about to say that right yeah, now. This may sound like this may sound like love and basketball stuff, um, but like in real life, I'm minus all the whole going to like a big predominant school, when you come up with a decision as a best friend, you you take that step. And when like when you take that step, if I'm gonna be with you for the rest of my life, why not why not go into the relationship? If we're gonna well, be I'm best friends for the rest of our life, we can I, I see I I understand where you say that it's it, it's always a risk, but any relationship is always gonna be a risk. So childhood friend well, the difference, bigger is, bigger risk. The difference yeah, this is the difference because the difference is you have more to lose right. with this relationship. Let me tell you why. Because if this person is a, is a close friend, mm -hmm. that means both of the families are already involved. Yep. That means you know her family. She knows your family. That means you guys are going to each other's family events. Mm -hmm. they, like the family sees her as that's that's the home girl or whatever. That's her. That's his good friend. And that could be a positive thing. I know you about to go with. That's <laughs> it. I know you about to go with. <laughs> you know, you know, that can be a positive yeah. thing if it works out. But if it doesn't, that's the problem. If it doesn't work out, now you have two families who just will not really contact each other the same way they used to. Because it's gonna be awkward. You gonna, you, yeah. you you. It's kind of like you created this awkwardness, and I'm not saying that. That it shouldn't be done at all. However, you really got to hit those pros and cons up. Because, you know, like, like we said, you do have a lot. You have way more to lose than if you're just in a relationship with somebody. And, you know, you've been to all the family events and all that kind of stuff. And say you're no longer with that person. Now, it's just like the families don't really have to. They might, you know, pass a meeting, but it's not that awkward. Whereas if you're... Um, um, with that person through all life, I mean, mama know him, grandma know him, you know, everybody, everybody knows him. They've been there for you, like, you know your little brothers and sister birthdays. Because you, know, you, gotta, you gotta think of it also. And you already know where I was going about that, <laughs> yeah. too. Like, you know, like. Yeah, and, and you gotta think about it also is the fact that it, it, there's different processes when you when you have somebody just bring into bring it into a relationship, and now it's going okay. You gotta meet my moms, you gotta meet my pops, and then so on. So, grandparents usually don't even get into the mix, or uncles, or whatever like that. With a friend, they already know all that, so there's nothing to introduce. Now you gotta reintroduce them as, look, you know, you know what's your name, right? We was cool, yeah. Now we seeing each other, this, that, and that. Oh, y'all make a cool couple and all that. Now they involved. Now they got a little bit more involvement now, and and both families and whatnot. So now you got kind of people in your business because it's like, remember when you guys used to do, 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 and and it's more of a connection. So if that messes up, yeah, that's a way bigger thing than it's like, oh, I didn't really care for her anyway. You know, when the family when you leave that particular person. So I mean, there's a lot more to lose and gain. I mean, you know, like I'm saying, now y'all move off. Whatever, then that that's a totally different story. But it's kind of hard because usually you guys still live in the same neighborhood. Y'all know the same friends and everything. Now that makes that awkward with the friends sharing. It's, I mean, there's so many. There's so many. I mean, cons to it. That what you said sounds like you know. I mean, maybe if we look at an age difference and and like where we're at in our lives and age age wise. Mm -hmm. Then, then what you're saying sounds more like a high school kind of thing with friends and dividing friends and the family situation. Like, you grow up as a family. Um, yeah, I, I've, I've heard it myself. When growing up as a family, I've always heard, you know what? The, he should be with you and yeah, this and that. They're all best friends. Oh, they should be together. And don't they make a good couple? They would have some pretty kids and all that stuff. I heard all that before. And, and as growing up, you it always goes into your mind. And then going back to what you said, um... As you're growing up, you guys are getting that connection. It's not, when I'm saying getting together and crossing that line means that you know you're you. We've been talking about it. We joke around it about it. You know what I'm saying? And then there's a point to the, the time where we like, do we really want to do this? We're gonna sacrifice everything because that's what you're doing. I mean, just be honest. You know, you're gonna lose your friendship. You're gonna sac sacrifice everything. But if I agree yes and she agrees yes, then. We we're we're growing together. We just basically grew together. We just didn't have the titles. I, I feel I can feel what you said, man. Like I, I can feel what you said. I can see both sides of it, and I can see if if it works out, then you'll be together forever. 
and you yeah. guys would be a great relationship. You know what I'm saying? I can see how it could help out because it, it eliminates all that uh, getting to know each other process for some people. You know, some people, that's a, a very hard time. Yeah, that, that's, that's you know, a scary time. Especially if you got out of a relationship yeah. and you jump into a relationship with your best friend. Exactly. That's like one of those like, well, at least I don't have to do that process. Yeah, that's the process a, is over. That, that's we know done. each other very so, well. We know, how, you know, like you say, like you all said, we, you know how that person ticks, you know how that person thinks, you know what makes them happy, what makes them sad. You know how to get them outside, out of the depression if they're depressed. And those are all great things, but the problem is when a, a situation arises where it's negative, like an argument or a discussion like that, something where you guys conflict, then what's happening? Because when, in a regular relationship, when, when you conflict, it's kind of like, well, we're, we're conflicting because we didn't know each other about this kind of situation. We're trying to grow and, and meet on, on even ground. In a relationship where you know somebody for so long, they know this is going to piss you off. Right. And they still do it. It's now, like, now you're taking like, more personal. You, it's like you had a cheat card. You knew what you, and, and this is the other thing you got to think about. Now, I mean, I know you're about to say something. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't want to be this perfect, but I just, I just came to it right around. But you also got to think about, you know, like I just said, you got a cheat card. You that that friend that now is in a relationship has been through all of your relationships. Yeah. So therefore, they've known what pissed you off. They've known what the other girls have done that you didn't like because they heard about it. They were the first ones to hear about it. So now arguments are totally different than if you were to go with somebody you just met. Like I don't know why he does this, blah blah blah. She knows. So therefore, she has the inside playbook of you, which can play for you and completely play against you. In that scenario. True, true. But let's not forget that when you go to your best friend about a relationship, it's always going to be about the bad they've done. So, yeah, they're going to come with the good because you're always talking about the bad. And about the cheat card, we, we look at, okay, they know how to make us mad, but they also know how to make us happy. I, I'm an optimistic. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm optimistic person. That's why. I'm very optimistic. So, I, I believe anything good can come out of something. Except, you know, I mean, I'm also a spiritual person, so anything other than the devil, anything good come out that. So but, so looking at that, yeah, I know I can make you mad, but I also know what can make you happy. Yeah, I can get on your nerves to the point where you be like, oh, this and that. Then I can get to the point where I'm so happy and, you know, this is, it's, it's it. Like, I'm loving this life. And, and to me, to finish off what I'm trying to say is that, you know, I know a, a couple that's been together for over 50 years, married. That grew up as child. And this is back in the old days. Because we talking about 50 years. I'm not even close to 50. So I know it's back in the old <laughs> days. Right. So these old days when, when everybody grew up together. They grew up as a childhood friend. They got together. They've been together for 50 years. Problems here and there. You know, roller coaster. But right. they're together. And I see if that can happen, that means why can't mine happen? If if that can, if that if, there, if there's positive stories, that means no, no. that I believe it can happen. We never said it couldn't happen. Yeah, we're, we're just saying, saying there's a lot of risk. Yeah. You got a lot. You got to you got to think about now, it. But if, like like you saying, if the risk, everything just this does not happen, and you guys work well together, and when the problems come across or you know problems arise, you guys cut it nip at the butt quick, and you deal with it directly, then I I can see that being that 50 year marriage thing. I can see that being that rest of your lifetime sweetheart, and you guys are married, have children. And all that great stuff. Right. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's a wonderful thing, truth. I think that's what we all search for anyway. We yeah. search for our partner to be our best friend. Right. It's just that, like we're saying, it's still that, that risk because of the fact we know each other's history. Right. And you know, females and guys sometimes tend to use those past relationships and history against people in regular relationships. So right. imagine your, your best friend. Right. Now, if you say you're going out with the boys, and she knows exactly how each one of your boys act when they're in the club. Yeah, that's what I said. It can, it can work. You can never go out with your boys if you don't want to have a problem, because that will bring a problem. Because she knows how they act. Even though she trusts you, she knows you with them. Right. And how they do their things. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that that's what I'm saying. Like, it kind of, it's a risk thing. Yes, it can work out perfectly fine. You guys can be old and wrinkled and have millions of grandkids together, and they'd be perfect. Yeah, in a perfect world, and that's good. But, like I said, I'm I'm an optimistic person, so yeah. So you, know, you look at all right. I think that's pretty good, fellas. Yeah, I think that's cool. You know, that's chime cool. in. Let us know what you guys think on the topic of basically should childhood friends ever cross that line of friendship into a relationship? I'm one of your hosts, Jay Toll. I'm Jay, and our guest host, Snack Pack. Snack Pack in the building. In the building, SP. Right. And we gonna have y'all say our favorite line. Let's get it in. Yeah. Yeah.